Hey, hey, Facebook, how are we? It's Wednesday. If you're watching the replay, go ahead and say hashtag replay. I am sitting in my car in the parking lot. I should probably take off the sweater. It's actually beautiful here. But I want to talk about the holidays, which are upon us, and weight gain. Did you know the average person, and actually I need to check on this statistic because it might be old, which now it might be more. But a few years ago, the statistic was that the average person gained 10 pounds, 10 pounds between Halloween and New Year's, 10 pounds. Now, I get it. The holidays are a great time to be with family and friends and eat the good food and it's cold out. And so, you know, we need a little extra cushion, a little extra, you know, just goodness on us to keep us warm, right? But what if this year you didn't have to gain weight? You didn't have to gain inches. You could still enjoy yourself within reason, right? I'm never going to tell you to go out and make incredibly unhealthy choices or be a a glutton during the holidays. But by the way, Kara, I see you. Can you hear me? I'm nervous that I'm plugged into my phone or my car, which means you can't hear me and my lips are moving, but you cannot hear my voice, which would not be good. And I should just end this thing because what's the point? So if you could let me know that I'm loud and clear, that would be amazing. So what if weight gain didn't have to be the norm of this year during the holidays? Maybe you're somebody who has experienced weight gain during the holidays. Maybe you've experienced weight gain just over the past couple of years due to, I don't know if you're like me, but COVID shut down the restaurants and I thought I should absolutely support every restaurant. And when you support every restaurant, you eat out a lot. Thank you, Krista. So helpful. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And so I'm not going to lie to you. I put on a little bit of extra pounds, a little bit of extra LBs during the shutdown. Okay. So maybe you are sensing the holidays with dread because for you, the holidays mean a little bit of extra cushion that you ain't interested in. So what if I could help you? What if I could help you not only not gain weight, during this holiday season, but in fact, lose some weight and or lose some inches. I want to help you do that. But more than that, what has been so fun over the past two months of helping people with their metabolic health is that metabolism isn't just inches and weight loss. Metabolism is better energy by day. Metabolic health is better sleep at night. It is an uplifted mood. It is balancing hormones. In fact, I'm going to go live here. I won't do it this time. I'll title it, Let Me Talk to the Sisters or Hey, Hey, Ladies or something because I need to talk to y'all about what is happening in my life. So, again, let me me go back. Metabolic health is so much more, so, so, so much more than weight loss and inches reducing, right? But again, that is a side benefit and a side perk. And what I love about how I can help you is that I am going to work with your body and your body will only release what isn't serving you. So for example, if you are already a small frame and shouldn't be losing weight, then you might not lose weight because your body doesn't need to lose weight. But instead, you'll gain the extra perks, the better energy, the better sleep, the uplifted moods, right? The hormone balancing. But if you're somebody who needs to lose some inches around some areas or some weight, then guess what? Let's balance your body so that you get the perks I just mentioned. But you can also start to watch your body release in areas that you've been holding on to that you aren't so excited about. How fun would it be to do this during the holidays? So fun. I can help you. This isn't about um, bars that are full of stuff that are horrible for you. This isn't about shakes that are jam-packed with things that your body says no thank you to. This is about metabolic health working with your body as a whole to create health and vitality so that lifespan is one thing, but let's make your health span meet your lifespan. Does that make sense? Meaning people are living to a certain age right now, right? 
but we don't want to see them only be healthy and then live another 20 years unhealthy or not feeling well. Or maybe right now you're dealing with chronic aches and pains and, and all the different just things that aging, the aging process does. Oh, did I mention the metabolic health actually will help the skin? It will help the complexion. It will help the neck and the, what is it right here when you get old and you get wrinkly? What's it called? Somebody help me. Anyways, decolletage or something? Did I say it right? (laughs) So anyways, there's lots of perks. There's lots of perks. Don't let the holidays put you under. Don't let the holidays bring you down. Enjoy the next two months while allowing your body to feel incredible and amazing. So let's connect today. If not today, tomorrow, the holidays are upon us. So we might as well have you look in your best as you're out going to party after party after party. You've missed.